टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द लोफलर बॉयलर एंड इट इज़ अ हाई प्रेशर बॉयलर सो फर्स्टली वी डिस्कस्ड इन ए ला माउंट बॉयलर द मेजर डिफिकल्टी एक्सपीरियंसड इज द डिपोजिशन ऑफ द साल्ट एंड सेंटीमेंट्स ऑन द इनर सर्फेस ऑफ द वाटर ट्यूब एंड द डिपोजिशन रिड्यूस द हीट ट्रांसफर एंड अल्टीमेटली द जनरेटिंग कैपेसिटी एंड दिस फर्दर इंक्रीज द डेंजर ऑफ ओवर हीटिंग द ट्यूब्स ड्यू टू साल्ट डिपोजिशंस एंड इट हैज हाई थर्मल रेजिस्टेंस बट दिस डिफिकल्टी वॉज सोल्ड इन लो फ्लोर बॉयलर बाय प्रिवेंटिंग द फ्लो ऑफ वाटर इन टू द बॉयलर ट्यूब एंड दिस बॉयलर आल्सो मेक्स यूज ऑफ फोर्स्ड सर्कुलेशन ड्यू टू द यूज ऑफ द फीड पंप एंड द प्रिंसिपल इज दैट इवेपोरेटिंग ऑफ फीड वाटर बाय मीन्स ऑफ सुपर हीटेड स्ट्रीम फ्रॉम द सुपर हीटर एंड द हॉट गैस इज फ्रॉम फर्नेस बींग प्राइमरली यूज फॉर सुपर हीटिंग पर्पज एंड नाउ फर्स्टली वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द मेन कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ लोफलर बॉयलर इट इज अ फीड फीड पम्प दिस इज इकोनोमाइजर जनरली द फीड वाटर बाई मीन्स ऑफ फीड पम्प इज सर्कुलेटेड थ्रू द इकोनोमाइजर ट्यूब्स एंड हेयर हॉट फ्लू गैसेज पास ओवर द इकोनोमाइजर ट्यूब्स एंड फीड वाटर इज प्री हीटेड and from economizer it is connected to the evaporating drum and evaporating drum then there is the radiant superheater it is the convection superheater and this is line to the prime mover and dotted line shows the path of the flue gases from combustion chamber to the atmosphere so it is the diagrammatic view of a low flow boiler so here high pressure feed pump draws water through the and these are shows the hot water hot water flue gases saturated steam and superheated steam so these are the different types of the arrow that shows different points so here the high pressure feed pump draws the water through the economizer so this is the high pressure water that is supplied to the economizer and from economizer this hot water is delivered to the evaporating drum from evaporating drum saturated steam is supplied to the radiant superheater and from radiant superheater is it it is supplied to the convection superheater where the temperature of this steam is increased and it becomes superheated steam and this superheated steam <coughs> this superheated steam that is uh, it's one third of the superheated steam passes through the prime mover and remaining two third that is supplied to the evaporating drum in order to evaporate the feed water so as we can see this is superheated steam to the prime mover that is 1/3 and superheated steam to the evaporating drum that is 2/3 and this is the path of the flue gases and one thing is here need to know the radiant superheater convection superheater and economizer all are arranged in the path of the flue gases as we can see feed pump starts to rotate there is a continuously supply of the water to the economizer from economizer hot water is to supply to the evaporating drum and from evaporating drum saturated steam to the radiant superheater from radiant to convection and from convection to superheated steam is supplied to the evaporator and evaporated drum and remaining is to the prime mover so this boiler can carry high salt concentration than any other type and is more compact than indirectly heated boiler having natural circulation these quality fit it for land or sea transport power generation and low low flow boiler with generating capacity of 100 tons per hour and operating at 140 bar are already commissioned so this is the high pressure boiler and today we learnt about the main components of low flow boiler 
and their working and how water is converted into superheated steam so subscribe to get more updates and universe double 2 you may like share and comment you can give your suggestions if required thank you have a nice day